Today I'm going to show you one of the most underutilized features in Google Sheets and is this small magnifying glass which will help us in four ways and maybe even more. First way, we can access any functionality, any item you can find in one of Google Sheets menu, you're going to find it just type it up in your menus. For example, let's try full screen. There you got it. I want to create a pivot table. You'll have it there. I want to create a drop down. There you have it. Use this top right arrow to minimize the menu and maximize your workspace and any menu item you may need, you're going to find it in the magnifying glass. Second use any of the format options you have in this second bar over here. For example, you want a font. Then you go here and you can change the font size. You want Roboto. Let's hit Roboto and then you can access the Roboto font. You want a border color, border color. And then you have some border colors and then you can click red. So this this changes your perspective on how do you use Google Sheets. Third use, formulas. If you don't remember well how is the sum if formula, then you can just start writing sum and maybe an I, and then you have the option sum if, sum ifs, some product you don't remember really well, and then you'll have all the options. The fourth and probably the feature I like the most is the redo feature that you can access with F4 if you know about this little trick. But basically, let's say I want to fill this cell with a green color. So as I already told you, you can do fill green. And let's fill the color with green. And then I want to fill this color with the same green again. So I'll go to the other cell and I'll go to the magnifying glass and you'll find that It'll have as the first option, the last thing I did in the magnifying glass. So it also serves as a history of the last actions I've taken in Google Sheets. So if I don't remember what, which is the function to import, and then I click import, and this is import range, and I write it down, I hit enter, and then I want to put an import range again. I go to the magnifying glass, and then I have my import range. I encourage you to try to use it more frequently. It will help increase your productivity in Google Sheets.